Matt fans, quite a while ago I was showing you how to import an MXD into ArcGIS Pro. Today we'll look at going the other way and getting an APRX project file to an MXD, which isn't directly possible, but we'll look at some options. So the MXD file type is from ArcMap and we wanted to bring this into ArcGIS Pro. Pretty easy to do. And I got a question. Thanks very much to Smookin McFruit Loops. Firstly, for having a brilliant name, and secondly, for asking a question. Really helps the channel out. So, Smookin would like to know is it possible to convert an APRX project to an MXD? Well, the answer is no, not directly. Um, you cannot have backwards compatibility between the APRX file into ArcMap, which is unfortunate. But worry not, we've got some options. So here we are in Arc Pro and I have a project open. Now the tab that we're going to be interested in is the share tab. So we've got a lot of different options up here as to how we can share things. We could go for a project package, a map package or a mobile map package. Now these three all work only with ArcGIS Pro which is a little annoying. Uh, it means that we don't have the backwards compatibility. The other option is to export the map to a file. And if we just have a quick look at this, we have various different image types. So this is just saving it as an image. It's not actually exporting our data per se. Could also save it as a map file. And if I click on this one, we will see that the File type is a map X. So this is not an MXD and ArcGIS or ArcMap can't actually deal with the map X. So we can't do that either. So we're kind of running out of options, but one thing that we can do is save this as a web map. So if I click on here for a new web map, I'll be brought up with some um, things to fill in. I'm just going to call this Calcmall Web Map. And you'll need a summary as uh, so I've added that in. I've got some tags. In terms of the type or the configuration, I want this to be editable so that I can edit it. And I'm going to save it in Calcmall Mexico. Sharing options, I'm just going to leave as is because I'm doing this privately at the moment, but you might need to change that depending on your organization setup. And in terms of the configuration, all of this looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to analyze my map and Arc Pro will tell me if there's anything wrong with it. Malaya does not have a feature template set, but this is only a warning and I'm going to ignore it. So I'm going to share this up to my ArcGIS online account. And here down at the bottom right, you can see that we have successfully shared a web map. So the next stage is to get into our ArcGIS online account and see where that web map is. So if I just go here, I'm in my Calatmul Mexico folder and I've got a Calatmul package, Calatmul Reserve WFL1 um, and a web map there called Calatmul Reserve. But where is my web map? If I just refresh this, there we are, Calatmul web map. And if I click on the Calatmul web map, it will open in ArcGIS Online. I can have a look at it in the map viewer, or I've got the open the option to open it in Arc Desktop. So if I go for open in Arc Map, that will fire up Arc Map like so. And it should load our web map in there. And here it is. Fantastic. So there's our web map brought in directly to ArcMap. Now this is okay. It's not brilliant. You'll notice that the labels have gone. The symbols might look a little bit different. And um, the reason for this is that ArcPro is using different means to create these things. So they're not directly translatable back into ArcMap. Presumably, that's why the project files are not backwards compatible with the good old MXDs.
Now, once you've got this data in here, um, it is still held on the web, but if you want to save locally, you can just go through and export the data. That looks all right to me. I'm just gonna choose uh, an APRX demo geodatabase that I set up earlier, and I'll just call this locations two. Save that, and then I've got a copy of that particular feature set on my local machine. So it's not perfect, um, but this might be helpful if you've got a lot of data, um, then you can bring it into ArtMap and you can work on it there. The other option you have, which might be a touch more laborious, depending on how many layers you've got, is to go direct to the GDB in the ArcGIS Pro project. So here I'm in my projects folder in catalog and I can open up Calatmul 2018 GeoDB and pull in whatever I want. Now, if I pull in the boundaries web, just stick it in here. That's below my world imagery at the moment. So I'll just move it up one. You can see that it doesn't keep its symbology, which is not the behavior that we want. However, we can just copy the symbology from another layer. So if I go to properties and I go to the symbology, I can import it from the boundaries web layer. Okay, that's, yes, that looks fine. Apply it. And there we have that symbology added. So, Different ways that you can access the data, but you are going to struggle a little with the symbology. Perhaps in that case, the web map is the best way to go. So you put it up onto ArcGIS Online and then pull it down into ArcMap. From there, you can export it to local geodatabases if you want, or access the local geodatabase direct from ArcMap. I hope that's answered your question, Schmooken, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and if you do have any questions, please leave a comment below. Again, we're getting really close to being able to monetize the channel, but I would prefer to keep it ad-free. In that case, if you would like to donate to buy me a coffee, um, please do so. Really helps and means that I can keep creating videos. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.